Hey what's going on guys? Today we will be learning how to achieve a perfect skin effect in Photoshop using Adobe Bridge and Camera Raw. Let's get started. First let's go to File and then select Browse in Bridge which will open the bridge interface. Now if you look at your left you see the Folders tab. And this is used for navigation. It's much easier to just put the picture on the desktop and select the desktop. As you can see I already have a picture saved on the desktop and ready to open it. So I right click it and select open in Camera Raw. And the Camera Raw interface will open. Now let's just tweak around with the settings a bit. It doesn't really matter what you do to it, just give it a nice touch, just make it look a bit better. Now that that's done, if you look down you will see open image, but if you hold shift on the keyboard it will be open object, so let's click open object, and it will open the image as a smart object in Photoshop. And now we right click it and select new smart object via copy, and this will make a copy of the smart object. And now we need to add a mask to our layer. So we hold the ALT button on our keyboard and we click add layer mask. And this will add a mask to the smart object. Now we need to reopen camera raw. So we double click on the thumbnail of the smart object which will bring us back to the interface of camera raw. And here we turn down the clarity until the skin is nice and smooth. You can just max it out. Once we are satisfied we click the OK button and return to Photoshop. Now that we are back in Photoshop, let's just zoom in and see the process. Now let's select the mask. And let's grab ourselves a small soft brush with the color white, which we will use to paint over the mask. And now we simply zoom in and start gently brushing on top of the skin. I'm just going to fast forward this a bit. You can also eliminate other imperfections with the healing brush tool in the Photoshop menu. Now that we're done, let's take a look at the before and after. That looks fantastic. You can also lower the opacity of the layer so the skin isn't extremely smooth. I am really satisfied with this and I think the skin looks just perfect. Now it's your turn to try this with your pictures. So go ahead and give it a go. Also if you liked the video why not give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to check out my channel for other tutorials. Rate, comment and subscribe. Cheers.